It was a huge basement battle at Kingston Park between Falcons and Leeds, with both teams fighting for their Aviva Premiership survival. For a match of such importance, it was unsurprising that the opening exchanges were fraught, but in the end, Jimmy Gopeth, stand-in skipper for the day, calmed the hosts' nerves with a penalty on 13 minutes. Moments later, Falcons scored their first try, Mickey Young wriggling free to touch down for his third this term, and with Gopeth adding the extras, Falcons were well in control, 10-0. Leeds fought back gamely, and leading from the front was Steve Thompson, who showed good awareness of the laws of the game when he pressed the ball against the line and the post for the visitors' first try of the afternoon. Falcons quickly reinstated their advantage, as Young showed great awareness to release the ball down the blind side after a succession of phases, and Jeremy Manning scored his first since the return fixture at the end of February. But despite the hosts' dominance, it was Leeds who ended the half on a high when Pete Wackett sprinted clear from a sublime Luther Burrell offload to make it a six-point ball game at the break, Falcons leading 2014. Leeds carried their momentum into the start of the second half and were rewarded with a third try, this time touched down by Gareth Hardy, and along with the conversion and an earlier Jarvis penalty, it put Leeds into the lead for the first time in the game. It became a straight shootout between kickers Gopeth and Jarvis, with the pair trading blows, and into the last five minutes it was Leeds up by one and Falcons up by two as the lead exchanged hands. In the end, Jarvis was the match winner, as a drop goal 90 seconds from time sealed a famous win for Neil Back's men. A defensive bonus for Falcons, but the win for Leeds, and just how vital that victory proves come the end of the season, will be seen in the crucial next few weeks. Final score at Kingston Park, Falcons 29, Leeds 30.